Damn, this nigga got a whole goddamn. He really got a blog. He really got a blog. DMV Dolo, welcome to Music Speaks TV. What up, gang? I appreciate you stopping by today for the interview. No doubt. All right, let's start by giving our subscribers a little history lesson about you. Um, you're currently based in Highlands? Yeah, Highlands. Okay. And what part of Florida is that in? Central. Central is like close to Orlando, Lakeland. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I was wondering about that because I looked on your Instagram, you know, just doing a little bit of research. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot about Highlands and everything, so I was like, yeah, let me try to find out exactly where that's at. Um, how, that's where you were born and raised? Yeah, it's small though, you feel me? But like, it's a lot of talent down there, bro. I'm talking about from sports, brain, music, a lot of talent down there. Dope, dope. What was it like coming up for you, you know what I'm saying, in Highlands? It was great, bro, you feel me? I had both parents, so you feel me? They both supported. Like, you know, when you get older, shit get bumpy between them. After I start doing shit, you feel me? Chilling with the gang, shit, chilling with bro. Bro right there, he finna drop soon, too. A lot of that nigga. But yeah, man, like, it was it was straight, really, bro. Sports, school, female, all that. So you play sports coming up? A little bit. Okay. What sport? Football. Football. You play uh, high school? Nah. Just middle? Okay. Like, like I played city league. I ain't played middle school, but when I got high school, I played, like, well, my freshman, I think. Freshman, but I didn't really, like, play full season. Okay. What made you get up out of playing sports and everything? I just start liking sports, bro. Like, really? I always been get through music. Freestyling with my older cousins, shit, all that. But, like, I just said, fuck, I'm tired of it. It's the same shit. And you been focused on music since then? Yeah, I was playing, though. I'm yeah. talking about, we would be in school rapping, street rapping, where we at hanging rapping. He's like, oh, you hard, bro. Bro, people told me Ben take it serious, but I was on that bullshit, chilling. That's how it always is, man. Sometimes we're our own worst enemy with that shit. You know what I'm saying? People can see the great in us before sometimes we can see it. In For sure. Oh, um, so what age did you start taking it serious, though? I see. How old was I? When I made a song for my dad and my cousin, Ut. Yeah. Okay. I think I was like 18, 19. Gotcha. And I heard, um, I heard you just reference him in a freestyle, too, that we did on the free game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what was that? What did he mean to you? Well, really, as commuter, where you from, highway parking shit, you feel me? You can't think about the place I think about it, for real. Yeah, gotcha. I'm talking yeah, about it's like a hometown, hometown name, hometown. Yeah, name. young OG. Yeah, that's hard. And what what type of music do you currently listen to, like when you're not in the studio, making your own? Ah, uh, man, I listen a lot of Rallo. Yeah, gotcha. okay, okay. Rallo and Coley. Coley P, definitely. I actually shot behind the scenes for Coley. It was um, a music video he did. It was like a year ago. So he was actually dope. Dope experience, dope yeah. vibe. He was a real humble cat too, so I definitely fought with Coley. What is it about Rallo and Coley that makes you, you know what I'm saying, a fan of them? Rallo just goes stupid, bro. I, can't, I ain't gonna lie. He just goes stupid. What did he say? He said, they told me shit was gonna get easy. No, he said they told me shit was gonna get better. Nah, fuck. Damn, I forgot a bit, but... Damn, bro, Rallo just be sliding, bro. Right. He's you saying shit in a melody that you wouldn't even think of until you catch it later down the song. Like, this nigga don't miss. It's bar for bar. <laughs> it's bar for bar with Rallo. But Teach Coley, too. yeah, Coley, Coley just speak real shit. Like, when you listen to Coley, yeah, it's right. like it paint a story in the back of your head, bro. Like, that's for another. real. Yeah, that's another one. The Coley Bible. Yeah. Facts, because it's like a testimony when he when he's spitting the raps and everything. I definitely like his music. My favorite song, man, right now be Raptors of Thugs and Rumors of War. Rumors of War, okay. He, he he dropped a video for that. He did? I'm trying to, did he drop? I don't think he. I ain't see the video. I seen like a little snippet on his Instagram okay, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, it might not have came out there. Cause I seen he been working on something and I thought it was for uh, Rumors of War. But um, who's your favorite artist if you had to choose just one right now and why? Why right now, why? That hard, man, it's hard. Uh, like all time, like right now, period. You can do all time. Like just want the, the artist who basically Molded you, you know what I'm saying, into being the artist that you are. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I say me. Okay. And what about me? Me, me really made me realize I can rap for real. Like when I was young, I was just saying stuff, but listen to me, Snoop, all them. I said, hold on, I can really flow with this. Like it's so natural to the point where I don't hear, it, but other people hear, it and I don't get what they saying. But like the storytelling, and your yeah, bro, and the pain you hear in his voice, like you hear every single feeling that the man say. Gotcha. Yeah, that's real. That's real. 
And what type of production do you like as an artist, as far as beats? You got a certain style of beat, a certain type of um, a favorite producer maybe that you're working with? Nah, bro. I, I just hit I like it from West Coast, East, just Down just South. Yeah, exactly. that's pretty much. And what about studios? Where are you currently record at? I'll come, I record at my homeboy Yeti, A1 Park. Great. And that's a home studio? Yeah, hey, bro, do videos and all. Yeti oh, filmed it. Oh. So um, it's like one stop shop. Going there and getting you, you can record, get your video shot and everything. Yeah, we set a date and all that. But like, he actually convinced me to take it serious, no cap. Like, my homeboys in there were telling me, oh, make a song, make a song with the whoop. I made a song called Capping before I made Ut Story and Ut Pass. So I made a song called Capping. I recorded it with Mike. He like, bro, you hard. I said, for sure. I just wanted to bullshit and make another song, you feel me? Because I was doing it on my little computer and shit. I started off with Audacity, but this nigga got like yeah. programs on programs, bro. You got it with the industry using probably Pro Tools, Logic, all the industry. He's not playing, bro. He's not playing. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you, can, you plan to continue working with him even when you Get oh yeah. Point. yeah, yeah. Just keeping it local, that sound and everything. You sign me. The same sound. You sign me. You got sound, bro, too. That's how I do. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's how I do. That's real. Cause like I said, without a, a producer and an engineer and an artist, it's all a team. You know what it's saying? like I don't got comfortable to the point where, bro, I don't even got to tell him how I want to sound. He all through it. Plug in from the vocals all through it. Every time I go in, I want brother put your plug in. And that's love, bro. I've been fucking my for like two years. That love, bro. Like for real. Kind of mix it as you go. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a lot of artists like out there. Just that being able to mix it, hear it as you go, leave the studio with it, maybe have to go back and get it touched up a little bit. But oh, yeah. At least leaving something, you know what I'm saying? Leaving with something. Are you currently have artist management? Artist management, yeah. Okay. Ballyway. Gotcha. And how'd y'all link up? And my cousin. Okay. That's how long, how long you been under management? Well, uh, him. I've been under his management for like. A couple months now, like, bro, got me my first show, all that. Gotcha. That's family that's, for real. That's well, blood, cuz. That's the best way to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the beginning of your career. Yeah. Being able to trust somebody with the money, you know what I'm saying? Shows, bookings, everything like that. So it's definitely good that you're family oriented with that. Um, What's the biggest struggle? Like I said, you got management, but uh, what's the biggest struggle being an independent artist? Because you're not signed? Nah. Okay. What about, what's the biggest struggle being an independent artist? Like, I say, Feeling like you can't go no more. Like everybody get their little stumps. I done had them a couple times. Like, dang, I can't snap as hard as I can. No more. Like, what's going on? I chill for a little bit. Think about writing something. Don't write a full thing. Go to the next. Try to do it my best. Sorry. And too much pressure on yourself, bro. That self pressure. Like, why well, ain't blow it type shit? You gotta be patient. Facts. I done seen Facts. that from a lot of my people that write. You gotta be patient. Bro, and just and and wait your turn. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Cause like timing is everything. And then. Yeah. Like I said, just being ready for it. Because I, I feel like everybody has a time or a chance, but a lot of people ain't even ready when their chance comes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like if you feel like you're in your prime now, you're tripping. There's always room for like growth and development. Yeah, sure. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. Man, you young too, man. You still got... You still got to grow as an artist, you know what I'm mm, saying? Yeah. You ain't even reached your full potential right now, so... And with that being the biggest struggle, what's the biggest blessing? Being independent. Man, just knowing that your time coming, bro. Like, and it's that strive that you got, that hunger, that that drive you got to get on. That's what it. That's the biggest blessing. If you don't forget that, you can go a long way.